Go ahead for North Sea oil field. Um, a UK oil company has been given the green light to forge ahead with a four billion pounds investment project in the North Sea field. Aber Aberdeen based in Inquest said it will generate billions in taxpayer revenues and support uh, 20,000 jobs with its de development of the Kraken oil field east of the Shetland Islands. The plans approved by the Department of Energy and Climate Change are said to represent the largest UK North Sea investment announced this year. The development covers two separate heavy oil fields which will each benefit from government oil uh, allowance in enabling companies to claim tax re relief on up to 800 million pounds of their profits. Inquest chief uh, executive executive Amjad Bisesu said Kraken is a transformation a transformation project for Inquest and we are delighted to be able to proceed with it, working with the government and our partners to maximize the interaction of approximately. 140 million barrels of oil in this field over its 25 year long life. It is only by combining our skills and ex expertise with uh, fiscal incenti inc incentives such as heavy oil allowances that really substantial projects like Kraken are possible. The company said the development will support 20,000 UK jobs during construction and an average of around 1,000 jobs in the UK for each year of Kraken's life. Gross peak oil production is expected to be more than 50,000 barrels of oil per day, with production likely to begin in 2017. Uh, Chancellor George Osborne, Osborne said, This is a big investment that will, that will create jobs and boost the British economic plan. It, it is also evidence that our efforts to create a competitive tax regime, regime that gets the most oil and gas out of the North Sea are working. China to loosen its one-child policy. Chinese state media has reported that the country's one-child policy is to be loosened in what will be a major major policy shift. The official Xinhua News Agency said the Communi Communist Party released a key document saying it will not allow couples to have two children if one of the parents is an only child. The law has caused many social problems, including uncertain uncertainty for an, for the elder, elderly who are left with no real safety net because four grandparents and two parents only have one caretaker for old age. The policy was brought in during the late 1970s to control China's huge population, the world's largest but has at times being brutally enforced. In October, a couple from Shandong 
province told Sky Asia Corres correspondent Mark Stone how authorities had forced the woman into an abortion abortion three months before their children was due to be born. The law currently restricts restricts most couples to one child one child with one of the exceptions allowing a second if both parents are only child or are only children. The birth policy will be adjusted and imp improved step by step to promote long term balanced development of the population in China, Xinhua reported. Uh, despite calls for relaxation of, of the family plane law and rumors that it might be it might be reformed, Chinese officials have repeated, repeatedly argued that the policy is still needed, claiming overpopulation threatens the country's development. At the time, at the same time, census officials warned earlier this year that China's working age population had begun to shrink after three decades of astounding economic growth. Xinhua also said China will ab abolish its much criticized labor camp sy system. The re educa the re education through labor system system allow pol policy panels to sentence offenders to years in camps without a trial. The decisions are part of efforts to improve human rights and judicial practices, Xinhua said, and came into a detailed reform statement issued after a key meeting of the ruling Communist Party earlier this week. The gathering, known as the Third uh, plenum had also decided to reduce step by step the number of crimes subject to the death penalty. The deeply unpopular labor camp system, known as uh, Lao Jiao, is largely used for pretty offenders, but is also blamed for widespread rights abuse abuses by Corrupt, corrupt of issues seeking to punish uh, whistleblowers, and those who try to complain about them to higher authorities. Under the sh under the shame, shame under the shame, people can be sent for up to four years re-education by a. Uh, Police panel without a court appearance. Pressure for char for change in the system has been building for years. First century roots of Little Red Riding Hood found. Uh, folk tales can involve much like spe species do. Uh, taking on new features and dropping others as they spread to different parts of the world. One researcher in the United Kingdom tested, tested his analogy uh, quite literally, literally, using an analytical models that are typical, typically used to study the relationships between species to create an evolutionary tree for Little Red Riding Hood and its cousins. This is rather like a biologist showing that humans and other apes share a common ancestor 
but have evolved into distinct species. Durham University and Anthropo uh, anthropologist Jamie Te Tehrani explained in the statement. Tehrani found that Little Red Riding Hood likely branched off 1,000 years ago from an ancestral story that has its roots in the 1st century AD. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood is well known to Westerners thanks to her brother's green. In the, history, in the story, a girl visits her grandmother's house only to be greeted by a wolf disguised uh, as the old woman. Little Red Riding Hood is promptly devout after remarking, what big teeth you have, Granny. But the uh, lumberjack later cuts open the wolf and saves the girl and her grandmother, who are miracle miraculously still alive in the beast's stomach. But there are several other versions of this story from ancient European oral traditions, including Variants in which the girl outwits the wolf and escapes after asking to go outside to use the toilet. In another story dubbed The Wolf and the Kids, which has been told throughout Europe and the Middle East, a nanny goat goes out in the field but first warns her kids not to open the door. A wolf who overhears her warning impersonates the granny goat, tricks the kids into letting him inside and eats them. Similar tales also pop up in oral traditions. In Asia and Africa, there's the tiger grandmother. In East Asia, for example, in which a group of children unwittingly spread the night in bed with a tiger or monster dressed as her grandmother. After the youngest sibling is eaten, the children get the monster to let them outside to use the toilet, toilet and they escape. The, to investigate the possible relationships between these Tales, Tarani looked at 58 variants of the story, focusing on 72 plot variables, such as the number and gender of the prota protagonist, the ending, and the type of animal or monster that becomes the villain. Ta Tarani used um, Phylogenetic genetic models or models that prop the evolutionary relationships of most species through time to compare similarities between these plot variables and determine the probability that they came from the same source. The result the result is a tree that shows how the story may have involved. Tarani discovered that Little Red Riding Hood seems to have descendants from the, from the more ancient story, The Wolf and the Kids, but so did African versions that independently involved to look like Little Red Riding Hood. This exemplifies a process biologist called uh, convergent evo evolution, evolution in which species independently involve similar adapt adapt adaptations. Uh, Tarani explained in the statement the fact that Little Red Riding Hood involved twice from the 
same starting point suggest, suggests it holds a powerful appeal that attracts our Im imagination imaginations that the analysis also suggested also suggests that the Chinese version of Little Red Riding Hood der derives from ancient European tales and not vice versa as all the researchers have suggested. And not. Specifically, the Chinese blended together Little Red Riding Hood, The Wolf and the Kids, and local folk tales to create a new uh, hybrid story, Tarani said. Interest, inter, interestingly, this tale was uh, first written down by the Chinese poet. Uh, Huang, Huang Jing, Huang Jing, who was a contemporary of a Perrault, who first wrote down the European version of Little Red Riding Hood in the 17th century. This implies that Chinese version is not derived from literary version of Little Red Riding Hood, but from the older oral version with which it shares uh, crucial similarities. The periodic table, how elements get their names. Many pe most people could name many of the elements, but how many of us know how they get how they got those names? Each of the 115 known chemical elements was discovered over the last few thousand years. Uh, from before record, recorded history began to the nuclear labora lab laboratories of the, of the 21st century. <clears throat> Their chosen names were influenced by an, by an ever-changing mix of language, culture, and our understanding of chemistry. So how did they get these names, and why do they end in neon? In neon? <clears throat> Ancient elements. Several uh, elements Elements' names have Anglo-Saxon language origins, including gold, including gold, iron, copper, and silver. These metals were known long before they got these names. However, uh, gold can be found in its pure form in nature, and Although iron is usually found in ores which require smelting, the earliest known iron artifacts from uh, 300 and 500 BCE derive from uh, pure pure metal from material material rights. The Latin names of these elements are commemorate commemorated in their atomic symbols AU Aurum for gold and FE ferrum for iron for iron the Roman the Romans began the practice of element names ending in um with Victorian Scientists cont continuing the train. Element of uncertainty. Since 1940-1947, the International Union of Pro and App Applied Chemistry (IUPSC) uh, has had the responsibility for approving elements names. Elements names. 
and deciding the single internationally rec recognized symbol for each element. Before this, there were multiple historical occasions of elements being given several names, usually due to simultaneous discover, discovery or uncertainty over discovery. The name of element 41 was not agreed for 150 years. It was called Columbian in America and Niobium in Europe until IUPAC finally decided the official name would be Niobium in 1949. <coughs> Dr. Fabian Mayors, uh, associate director of RUPSC, explains the current name process. To start with, the discoverers are invited to propose a name and a symbol. For linguistic, for linguistic consistency, the re recommended practice is that all new elements should end in IUM, she adds, since the, shake, since the sake of naming an element is essentially to avoid confusion, it is, uh, it is important to ensure that the process name is unique and has not been used earlier, uh, even unofficially or temporarily for a different element. After examination and acceptance by the division, which includes a public, a public review period of five months, the name and symbols are then submitted to the IUPSC Council for approval. The name is then published in the scientific journal Pure and Applied Chemistry. Actinium or Zirconium. A common source of names both now and historical, over a quarter of the of the elements are named after a place, often where they were discovered or synthesized. Uh, or synthesis. Uh, synthesized. This place range in size from Con continents, Europe, European and uh, uh, countries, Americ American, Francium, Polonium, to the Scottish village Strontium, Strontium. Because of the great wealth of discoveries made there, made there, four elements are named after the Swedish mining village Yterbium, Yterbium, uh, Erbium, and Terbium. There is just one element that wasn't first discovered on Earth, and it, and it too is named after its place of the after its place of the discovery, helium from the Greek word for sun, helios. Uh, myth and legend: about a dozen elements take their name directly from legends, including titanium, uh, arsenic, and ten tantalum, nickel, and Cobalt are named are named after devil and cobalt from the German Germanic folk believe that mali malign creatures snuck into mines to replace valuable and similar looking copper and silver ores with these less valuable ones. In 1949. The artificial uh, element prom Prometheum was named after Prometheus, 
the man in Greek legend punished with internal torture for stealing fire from the gods as a reference to the great difficulty as a reference to the great difficulty and sacrifice needed to synthesize new elements. Eponymous element. Modestly, modestly, no discoverer has ever named an element after him or herself, but several scientists have been honored by having elements named after them. These include Mm, this include uh, curium, Einsteinium, and fernium. Uh, Seaborgium, named after American chemist Glenn Seaborg, was the first element to be named after a living scientist. There is also uh, Mendelevium, named after Dmitry Mendeleev. Mendeleev. The Russian scientist who established the first peri periodic table in 1869 and fitted the known elements into their places in the table based on their pro properties. Elemental techniques. Uh, 50 elements were discovered in the 19th century, the greatest number of any century by comparison. 29 elements were discovered in the 20th century and 5 new ones have been synthesized so far in the 21st. Frank James, professor of the history of science and the Royal Institution in London, were several elements where several elements were discovered says that the contribution of British scientists was very important. Using elect electrochemical methods, Humphrey Davy either isolated or demonstrated the element elemental nature of a total of nine chemical elements naming most of them in a process such as sodium, uh, potassium, and chlorine. chlorine. Um, British scientist William Ramsey used a powerful name technique, spec spectros spectroscopy, to discover the noble gases, a group of elements which had uh, evaded discovery due to their lack of reactivity. Uh, he used Greek words to name neon, new, uh, xenon, stranger, uh, krypton, hidden, and argon, inact, inactive. Uh, colors, colors, and sense. Colors are a name source from for nine elements. Uh, each element can be identified by the colors it emits using spec spectroscopy, and several elements are named after the brightest color they emit, they emit including indium and r rubidium. Uh, visible traits are a ma major source of names, but the other scents are represented too. Osmium and bromine are named for their smell, and aluminium is named after the Latin word for the bitter tasting chemical in which it was first discovered, alum. Uh, on an Pentium, on a Pentium on words. The newest element to be experimentally confirmed, element 115, will be called on a Pentium until an official name is decided. And 114 uh, fleur, fleur, fleurovium and 116 livermorium 
were named in 2012. IUPSC's Dr. Mayers, uh, IUPSC's Dr. Mayers explains that although all recent elements have been named after people and places, a mythological concept or character, a mineral or property of the element could also be used as the root of an acceptable name, and with no shortage of eminent, eminent scientists and uh, important centers of science and inspiration, new names will always retain an element of surprise.